hyenas are often viewed with suspicion or even fear. But in northern Nigeria, some men keep them as pets. For Abdullahi Jahu, it's how he makes his living. He comes from a long line of so-called hyena men, having learned how to handle and tame the animals from his father. He can earn up to 50 US dollars entertaining crowds. It's part of our culture and tradition, and it's been established for a long time, since our parents and our grandparents. That's why we inherit it, and we want our children to follow in our footsteps. But that culture is clashing with conservation. Jahu says he captured his hyena two years ago in an area known for its varied wildlife. Chinedu Mobwe, who founded the Green Fingers Wildlife Conservation Center, believes keeping hyenas as pets is devastating to the ecosystem. How these animals have ever been sourced in the first place is a problem. These animals, their homes have been raided, um, countless have been killed, even just to extract one of them. So think about what that does to the population of wildlife in, in a country or in, in a certain um, ecosystem. But keeping wild animals as pets is ingrained in the northern Nigerian culture. In a crowd corner of Kano, one of Nigeria's biggest cities, traditional healer Chindo Musa says his hyena lives peacefully alongside his neighbors. He makes treatments from the animal's dung, which he says can heal wounds. Elsewhere in the state, Yaya Kawu also makes dung remedies, which he says can treat bad behavior in teenagers. He also lives with snakes and says the animals are considered a normal part of life in his rural community. What, what you have seen now is a dying, dying art. Leader Nasiru Wada, who holds the traditional title of Magajin Garin Kano, says keeping hyenas is what they've known for hundreds, if not thousands of years. It used to be really prolific, but not anymore, because even the hyenas are endangered. But he acknowledges that the ways of the hyena men do not chime with modern ideas around animal welfare.